In Daphne, Alabama, local artist Joe Sheffield paints watercolors of local scenes. How old were you when you started painting? Uh, probably about 78, 1978. Okay. And I didn't, I was deep in my career then and I really couldn't get off to do shows. So I just graduated up to, you know, finding my, my level. Have you ever taken professional painting classes? Uh, I've taken workshops, a lot of them over the years. I picked up quite a bit of information. Took a couple, a couple of art courses in college. And, uh, but uh, you pretty much teach yourself. You know? Here at the Jubilee Festival in mid-October, Joel sold eight originals and dozens of prints. Uh, like I said, my mom was very talented. If there's anything about inheriting something from your parents, I'd like to believe it was her um, me taking over from her. How many shows do you do a year? Uh, around eight. That's about as much as my old body can stand. <laughs> How long does it take you to paint a picture like this? Uh, depends on the size. Um, something like this would take me uh, three to four weeks. To do one picture? Yeah. And then you sell them, like you said, how many did you say you sold yesterday? Five. And one day, so boy, that's, uh, that's like four months worth of work. Yeah, well, I stay busy all year. You know, I, I got a studio workshop in my house. So. Where do you live? In uh, Daphne, up the road, about 15 minutes from here. And you mostly sell here in... Uh, in no, um, I do shows in a couple shows in Florida and then uh, Ocean Springs and the uh, majority of them right here in Ball County. Where do you get your inspiration for your work? Um, I've been around the water all my life. Uh, I worked on the shrimp boats with my dad and uh, just uh, ideas I accumulated over the years. And, uh, my mom was an artist. She was a wonderful artist. Is that where you got your inspiration to be an uh, artist? I got my encouragement from her. She always took a sketch pad in my hand and says, go out and, go ahead and draw. So I developed a love for it. This is all watercolor, right? All watercolor, yeah. Have you ever experimented in other media? Um, I, oh yeah, I got into acrylics for about seven years and uh, really liked it, but I didn't like the way the acrylics don't fade in, you know, into subtle colors. It's bright. I sold a lot of acrylics, but I eventually went back to watercolor. Okay, so tell me a little bit about uh, being related to this painter. He's a wonderful artist, he's a wonderful person, he's a wonderful husband. And what about his art? His art is fabulous, it gets better every year. That's great. What do, you, do you help him with the sales? Oh, I handle all the sales. We got our brains together and came up with, it ought to be something, something southern. I said, okay, something southern it is. <laughs> And it's been sticking since 1989. So. Pick out a painting and tell me a little bit about that particular painting. Okay, well, uh, this painting here. Uh, I was up in an uh, art workshop and a family visit in Maine about uh, two months ago. And where we were staying, um, uh, Penobscot Bay in Maine was right in front of our house. And every day these guys would come by and run these nets for Menhaden. Menhaden using lobster traps around the area. And it was an odd sketched on scene, a couple of photographs, and uh, a big island in front of us, this heart island, and uh, color nice, a lot, a lot of good reflections that time of the morning. And uh, got some ideas, and got back home, and uh, put it together. This is the skeleton on the painting. If you get a good sketch, the rest of it is, is pretty much falls into place. That's great. Uh, the locals really, really uh, support us. 